<laughs> All right, Scott, what do we got here? Uh, clown Shoes uh, Double Chocolate Sonata. Sonata. Imperial Stout. Uh, With cacao nib. Right. Asian bourbon barrel. Nib? Nib? What? <laughs> <laughs> Brown nibs, yeah. Brown nibs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott at scottstride.com. <laughs> Alright, so I like to, uh, do, do you know what the um, alcohol percentage is on this one? Uh, I do. Well, here, <coughs> let me refer to the bottle real quick here. Uh, refer to my notes. How about the IBUs? I, ha I usually do a note. Uh, 10%. 10 even? Yep. Like, do they just throw a guess at it, or is that like so, the exact <laughs> well, so, so speaking of throwing guesses, let's guess the IBU. So take a sip and guess the IBU. I'm going to guess pretty low. I'm going to go 33. It's a magic number. It is. You're going to go 50? No, 50. I'm, I'm going to go 32. Just to be lower than you, because now I got everything below you, right? <laughs> one dollar. Bid one dollar. <laughs> that, yeah, that very price is right of you. <laughs> or is that how it goes? Do I do a dollar? I, I don't know. It was one, I didn't, I didn't one get the rule sheet on this game. <laughs> All right. So by this point, I would have uh, put a blurb up with the with the actual idea, and I'm gonna guess I was right, but we'll see. <coughs> so really, fifty? You think it's that bitter? Maybe it's just the booze. I'm, maybe it's just the booze. It's not that boozy. So yeah, for a for a barrel, it's not. It smells way boozier than it tastes. It yeah. smells very boozy. I get it on the back of the tongue, <laughs> or I guess the middle of the tongue. Anyway, Clown Shoes has been um, they've been impressing me lately with a lot of their beers. Um, this is one of the new ones. I had uh, a chocolate something la la. In La Pinjua in Fuego, something jalapeno. Oh, I saw that one. It's really hot. Really like hot. spicy hot? Yeah. It's a I saw that. It's a um uh habanero in a chi Oh habanero. The one I saw was not habanero, it was just chili. It was uh cayenne and <laughs> maybe maybe it wasn't habanero. But anyway, it was really hot. It was it was hot enough that I could drink small amounts at a time only. Really? Like yeah. hot sauce hot? Yeah. It hit you like it was a, it was burned going down. I wonder if you like sauteed it with some rice or something, how that would be. <laughs> so so when you guys remember the movie Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back? I do. So they Wait, had what? Some, Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. Oh yeah, I don't know. They why had I'm something there about clown shoes. Anyway, I worked with this guy that, at the time and me and him would quote the movie back and forth, kinda of like we guys do a Friday and stuff like that, right? And we came up with these stickers and it was a clown shoe coalition and we would put it on like People, like when someone did something stupid, we'd like put one on their desk or something like that. Like you got tagged by the Clown Shoe Coalition for doing something stupid. <laughs> it was pretty, we made stickers and everything. It was awesome. So what's the first taste you get? Chocolate. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely he chocolate heavy. Yeah. It's more dark chocolate than milk chocolate. Though. All dark oh, chocolate sure, yeah. is all I'm getting. I'm only getting, it tastes like, uh, all I'm really getting is dark chocolate. I'm getting the... The flavors of the barrel, but not like a bourbon. Right. Like a lot of them taste like you're almost drinking, like that you spilled a little bit of your Maker's Mark into it. Yeah, yeah. I, it's more, I, and I, I think it's more of the wood taste in the barrel than the bourbon taste. That's what I, that's yeah. what I was trying to say. Yeah, it's earthy. Yeah, earthy tones. Earthy tones. And, and it stays pretty even throughout. Some beers really finish high or low. This is pretty even. You get a little bit of difference at the end, but it's pretty even throughout. Are there any, anything hidden in the label? No penises. <laughs> Not that I know, of, but they're, they're, I really like their artwork. It's very, um, it's very like. Uh, what are the uh, um, like graphic novelish? Yeah, very indie. Yeah. Like um, almost like uh, what was that black and white movie with Bruce Willis that uh um. It was like in, right after the one of the was it one of the Kill Bill movies they did in black and white. Don't know on that. I don't know, what movie was that? Bruce Willis was in it. I'm pretty sure. 
speaking of cool album, cool, cool uh, album art. Speaking of cool um, label art, do you guys ever drink Flying Dog? Never even heard. Oh. Of Did I ever tell you? This? Ralph Steadman. He, he's a, he was that was out. Of, they're out of Colorado. Yes. Yeah. Their, their pale ale is really good. It's probably one of my favorites. It was one of the one of the first microbreweries that I really started to enjoy. Maybe it's one of the first ones that had any kind of distribution outside 15, of the 18 years, years yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah, I had it on my honeymoon. So that's how long ago that was. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the one with the girl. <laughs> so I thought this was a Michigan beer, but it's a Massachusetts beer. It's lit. How's the shot, Kristen? I like, I like yeah. the shot from this angle. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 lean down, now go up. I'm getting, getting the brown nibs. <laughs> you know the power of editing. <laughs> yeah, we can make you say whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to um, edit out <coughs> my coffee. You know, I don't know why I started coughing when I started drinking that. Some beers I've noticed do that. They get like, they start to like. I used to smoke cigars every now and then. But I don't have to smoke a cigar in a while, but some cigars I got to the point where I don't know where it just got sensitive. So if the tobacco was grown with pesticides, I would feel my throat start to tighten. And some beers, especially barrel aged stuff. Was that before or after you had your gag reflex removed? Way before. <laughs> now that, that's never an issue. <laughs> This is pretty good. I could drink a few of these. That's usually how I rate a beer too. If you can have one and you're done, uh, like like a the sweet stuff, like, it is a sweet beer. Like say like say a Sam Adams cherry wheat. <laughs> I'm good for breakfast. I know I'm good till lunch. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm good till next year. <laughs> Bill used to drink a six pack of those. He did, didn't he? I think he brought a six pack thing to to uh, paintball one year. I think that was blueberry. <laughs> There's a couple decent blueberry beers. I had a blueberry um, spicy beer. Mm. It was really interesting. It was, it was, it was pretty interesting. I, I do like Funky Buddha's uh, blueberry cobbler. I've tasted that. It's pretty good. But it's more um, savory. It's more. It's more than just right. More than just fruit. Yeah. All right. So on a scale of one to five, where would you put it? Man, I feel like I. I feel like I chugged mine. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I love the chocolate beer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go high in this one, probably three and a half, four. I would say four out of five. I'd say me. four out of five also. I kind of prefer a touch more sweetness at the beginning. Not, I would agree. Not I'm not talking like a real sweet beer, like right, a right, right. like a last a milk chocolate, but. Just a touch more sweetness, I think, would bump it up a bit more. If this had some more maple notes, I think maple notes would really bring the other flavors out in this beer. Almost like it's missing the. For me, it's missing the hair of the hair of syrupiness that most barrel ages have. Most barrel ages have like a hint of syrupy in there. Yeah, the sweetness of the bourbon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I, I don't really get it's, it's not. It smells way more boozy. But one thing I'll give this, and I don't know if this is a positive or a negative, for a 10 percenter, it's real smooth for 10 percent. Yeah. yeah, I could drink a couple of these and not realize it <laughs> until you realize it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott savoring his. What are we doing? Yeah. Hey kids, come over here. Let's try this. <laughs> We're in Mexico, by the way. <laughs> Yeah. Right at Chipotle in Mexico. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfectly legal in Vermont. What, what was it? Was it Vermont? The, the Is that about Roy Moore again? <laughs> no, well, before. Where's that, that, that was the 70s. 70s. <laughs> no, you remember when they were talking? I'm still a few episodes behind. When they were talking about, about alcohol? No, age they were talking consent. about age of consent. <laughs> That's a different kind of consent. <laughs> but, but they said that the, I think it was Vermont lowered it to seven. <laughs> yeah, like during the antebellum ages, or yeah. the but antebellum that was, period. But that was only a hundred years ago. I mean, a hundred <laughs> yeah. and a bit years ago, you know. But but like you know, Adam said, we live till thirty. You want to get this going? Get this party? <laughs> get this party started? 
Think about it. Okay. Well, I played that part for test. And all right, Scott, we're, we're waiting for you oh, here. Is it? You get a whole 15 cents if you return this. In Florida? No, five cents. In Florida? No, none in Florida. Ten cents in Michigan. In Oklahoma. Do you think people would, like, run the border with these? Oh, I'm yeah. sure. If you're close to the border. My wife's father. <laughs> he gets more in New, New Hampshire. Hampshire to Maine all day long. Why would you if you're that close, right? Like half an hour for free beer? But, oh, well, I mean, if you're getting... You spend 15 bucks on a bottle and you get 15 cents, you know. It kind of seems like a, you know, a 1,000% return. That doesn't seem real good. But if you have a... a but when you're at the softball field picking up from the night before. Like, that's one like, way to spend your retirement years. You're like the can man. All right, let me tell you something weird. So, <laughs> should, should we stop recording? Yeah, we, we can. Okay. We, we should have stopped a long time ago. Until next time, guys. <laughs> well, are we going to do another one or? Yeah. Yeah. Until, nice until, until, until the next beer, when this conversation is surely going to go further downhill. <laughs> Can we cheers with empty glasses? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. yeah I don't know. Though.